Let's talk about the killing of a Safeway employee in San Jose. We're now learning that the safety at this grocery store has been a concern for years. Manuel Huizar Cornejo was killed there during his overnight shift on Sunday. But co-workers say that they've been asking for a security guard for years. Cornejo's family is outraged after learning that these safety concerns were never addressed. Here's NBC Barrier's Stephanie Magallon. It looks like business is back to normal at this Willow Glen grocery store. But you can see from this scene outside, things are anything but. An entire community is still looking for answers after 24-year-old Manuel Huizar Cornejo was shot and killed while working here over the weekend. This is very hard for me, so hard. But people, the community, really, really touched my heart. Family, friends, co-workers, and even residents who only heard about what happened have been showing up to drop off candles, flowers, Manny's favorite foods, and even cartoon characters. I'm a specialist. Tonight, there's also a growing concern that has co-workers and Manny's family outraged. My brother have told me, bro, that we need a security. Like, every time I have to deal with something, every time. Employees here say they've been asking Safeway for an armed security guard for years, including Manny. None wanted to go on camera due to fear of losing their job, but say they've also requested to reduce store hours because of how dangerous the situation has become. One worker went on to say they have a theft every day and almost every hour. And Manny's older brother says this isn't the first time Manny was a victim of a crime at this Safeway while working here. I don't know, you know, but they stole his car twice. We've reached out to Safeway headquarters, but we have not heard back. However, today we did see an armed security guard at their entrance. Walking into the store and see a security frustrated me to say, why now? Why not before? Both he and other members in this community are concerned that no information has been released about the suspect or suspects. We don't know. Is it, is it one person? Is it many people? And what, what should we be on the lookout for? And this is our neighborhood safe way. So We'd like to feel safer in our neighborhood. In a statement, San Jose police said they cannot review any more information to protect the integrity of the investigation. Hopefully they've got it under control. That's what I have to hope. Meanwhile, family here is still searching for answers from both police and Safeway. And Manny's mother tells me she's now planning on organizing a peaceful march against gun violence. In San Jose, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.